as a young kid I was pretty active, so tennis was a lovely pastime. My first coach was David Smiley and Tony Roach, and there I learned a, a real good passion for the game. My first professional coach who actually trains other coaches was John Elbridge, and that was a really good start to actually turn it into a business. And then finally, now I'm training and mentoring other coaches to help them with their business, but I'm still actively out on court seven days a week. What are some good things about tennis coaching? Tell us a story about tennis coaching. All right. Tennis coaching is a very good job. It's a very good um, leisure because you get to meet great people. In my time, I've actually met uh, Ivan Lendl, actually did some uh, presentation at Macquarie Centre, and then we've also worked with Leighton Hewitt, so that's a really nice pinnacle. From the other end, at grassroots, we work with a whole lot of kids and getting them healthy and active, and that's also a, a bit of a plus. As a family person and a business person, tennis coaching is a great option. Okay, great. Um, can you tell, us, tell me a particular memory about tennis coaching or anything that stands out? All right, one of our favourite things for tennis coaching, probably the best memory, was working on the Leighton Hewitt Tennis Academy. Uh, I was head coach out of Sydney International Tennis Centre, and what a great privilege. Uh, we actually saw him turn number one that week. We had 200 students, they all had Hewitt, you can do it, and he became number one in front of the kids. That's great, thank you. Um, what would you change about tennis coaching in Australia? Tennis coaching in, a, in Australia, at the end of the day, a coach is a small business person. And if I was to change anything, I'd try and complement and assist coaches with what they need to do their job. At the moment, there's a bit of a monopoly and it's not helping the coaches, it's actually breaking the structure. And as a small business person, we should be complementing uh, with tools and pathways to make sure that the coach can get their job done, but also help the student all the way through to the top. That's great. Okay. Um, do you have any suggestions on how to improve tennis coaching in Australia? Tennis coaching in Australia for improvements would be making sure that we're using the internet to access international uh, areas of coaching so that we can share and get an idea of what's happening overseas. Here in Australia, if we are on court and training and educating the coaches, that's our best thing. We nearly need to educate them in business as well so that they're successful, but also to make sure that they're very good on court, uh, they're great presenters, they're great promoters of the game. That's great. Uh -huh. work situation. The coaching work situation has changed. Going back 20 years, it used to be Tennis Australia was the overriding body. You had universities of tennis like TCA, ATPCA, and they were endorsed by TA and, and there was a quality control. We sort of dropped our quality control and it would be good to get that nice level back and that's good quality coaching will actually feed into top quality players. So to assist the coach, if we look at the coach as a small business operator and therefore when they, we work with them there shouldn't be any restricted trade, there should be things that help them with their business and to actually develop grassroots and then also top players. The more people we have at the base, the more opportunity we have for the people at the top. In the last Australian Open you had Djokovic who was at a press release with the players and they asked all the administrators to leave the room so they could talk just amongst the players. It's probably the first time we ever saw something like a union coming together. I'd like to see this for tennis coaches so that someone is listening to the coaches and being passed on and something is actually being done instead of just put into the, into the draw. That's great, that's great. All right. So as a mentor coach, I'm trying to make sure that the coaches are well looked after. Don't just rely on tennis because on a wet day your business stops. Have a few options, do multi-sport op opportunities, have table tennis indoors because people are more active on wet days. So for your business, have some backup plans, uh, go and be creative, go and be an entrepreneur and they're the sort of things that will really help you stay in the, in the game. That's perfect, that's really great advice. That's... So one of the things we can do as coaches is also share our knowledge. Uh, for our group, we actually have created a website with grading ideas, syllabus ideas, things to actually help the players. But really what we're doing is we're educating the coaches and helping the coaches. So that's a big thing where I can put my fingerprint and share it out to all the other coaches. They can choose to use that. Uh, the other option is uh, we do like them thinking on their feet and they can come up with some improvisation activities. 
It is great. It's great. One of the ultimate things for a tennis coach is travelling overseas. So I've been lucky enough to go to America, to Wimbledon, haven't been to the French Open. But there's a great opportunity. You can watch it on TV, but also visiting these things. And it's like a coaching sensation where you, if you are an Australian coach, you're welcomed into the other countries and you're going to sort of learn from all those experiences. It's great. It's great.